what's going on guys welcome to another video on the channel there's a new souls game coming out well souls-esque game coming out this month so i kind of had to make a video on it and also a demo just dropped for it as well this weekend and it's called stellar blade it's coming out april 26 2024 and the dev shift up just released the demo for this game this weekend like i was saying before i want to try to make a video on it and i wanted to kind of talk about like the combat the music and the world itself right now it's a ps5 exclusive which is kind of a bummer but that's okay i think this game will probably come out on pc in probably six months maybe a year i would say it was six months because i think it's not a first party game so i feel like it'll come out faster but uh, yeah, so this is a PS5 exclusive game, and uh, let's talk about it. So I didn't know what to expect when I booted up this game, except for Booba. That's pretty much a consistent thing that happens in this game. And depending on what outfit you, ha you have on and stuff like that, like it is more pronounced, it's not as pronounced. It's, it's a lot, but it seems like every single outfit has like a different kind of stat boost or does something different, which is kind of cool. But like I said, I wasn't expecting this when I played this game. I was expecting a hack and slash a little bit more like near than anything else. The world is very near-esque though. The world has ended and it's post-apocalyptic. And so our main character Eve is trying to find things from our lifetimes or she finds things from our lifetime during her travels. Like in Nier, we're accompanied by like a robot, but in Stellar Blade is controlled by an actual person named Adam. Yes, Adam and Eve in a world like this, it just, all makes sense now in a way we still don't kind of know what is happening in this world from this demo uh we kind of get like this cutscene at the beginning where you're, everything is kind of falling down into this planet and we are introduced to this big bad where we lose one of our companions and we're saved by adam that's kind of all we really know and there's just this whole overarching world where there's people that you investigate like dead uh, soldiers where you investigate and they kind of leave notes around the world and stuff like that it's really really cool but i'm excited to like kind of dive deep into that and see what this game's about so let's talk about the music the music also reminds me of near i feel like it might be the same composer because the music is very near but i'm not 100 percent sure i do love the little touch when you get to a camp where there's like a music player and then you can play kind of chill music but you can change it like something else i feel like you can find these around the world Really, really nice little touch. The world building and music are both great to me, but let's get to the actual gameplay. How does this game feel? What does this game feel like and how does it play? Like I said, I thought this was gonna be a hack and slash kind of game. This game reminds me of a mixture of Lies of P and Sekiro. More on the Lies of P side of things, but it does have a little bit of Sekiro in, in there. This game focuses on parrying. Parrying feels very Lies of P, where you have just regular parries, then you have perfect parries. But each enemy has posture points. This is where the kind of the Sekiro vibe comes into. Every time there is a perfect parry, a posture point is deducted from the enemy. And then once it gets to zero, you can do a crit or a visceral attack on the enemy. It doesn't actually kill the enemy, but it does a, a, a massive amount of damage. Sekiro side of things also comes into when it comes to dodging particular attacks. There are red glowy ones that happen and then you have to dodge those depending on what kind of glowy kind of symbol they are. So that's kind of gives me the Sekiro vibes. There are different kinds of combos that you can do, which you can do like a bunch of triangle combo, a couple of uh, square combo. There's like a normal attack, heavy attack, but you can also charge your square attack or you could charge your heavy attack, which is really, really cool. Doing these kind of breaks the monotonous of just doing the same thing over and over and over again, which I really, really like. Parrying and perfect dodges rewards you with the ability to use beta strikes, which are powerful AoE or single hit, among other stuff that you can get because the skill tree is actually pretty expansive in this game. And it's broken into like different sections for more parrying side, more dodging side, just like just general kind of uh, skill tree or just like your normal attacks and stuff like that. It's really, really neat. One of the other features that I really, really like about this game that I kind of wish that a lot of other games added is the training room where you can practice the new skills that you've got. I love this feature. It helps you get used to the new skills. It kind of helps you with timing your new skills and just kind of how do you fit them into your already growing repertoire of skills and abilities. All in all, I love the combat in this game. I think it's very, very fluid and I think it kind of works all together really well. The boss battle at the end of the demo is great. The boss challenge that they add after you finish the boss battle is super fun, and but they give you more skills, and they kind of give you a ranged gun as well that you can use to like hit weak spots for enemies and stuff like that. It's, it's very interesting. 
it's awesome to see all the varying ways to play the game and i'm hoping there's gonna be more weapon types so like you're just not using a sword the entire time so maybe like you're using an axe or something or like a pole arm or something but from what i've seen i don't think there is because the skill tree kind of limits it to the sword not sure yet though just like souls and lies of p there are camps where you can rest it's brings back all the enemies brings back your healing and then you can buy consumables as well there these are grenades these are better healing packs that kind of stuff there's a lot of places where you can traverse which is kind of rewards the player chests that can be only opened with a code and getting those codes are just kind of exploring the area and finding dead bodies and getting the code from them there's also swimming which yes thank you give us give us a souls game with swimming i never thought I would see the day that there would be swimming in Souls games. I know there are games that do it, but like, thank you. Thank you. I hate going into like Neo and just dying every time I just see water. You know what I mean? There are also supply camps, which are just higher tiered camps that allow for fast travel to other camps, upgrade your suit, your weapons, and then also rest as well. I think you can change your uh, change the loadout of your suit here as well, but the demo kind of didn't have that. It kind of gives me the Wo Long method of like minor flags and major flags, which is a, a kind of a cool concept. There's also three settings on the PS5 for this game. There's priority that goes for frame rate, which I think is a full 60 FPS the entire time. I didn't run into any problems playing this game. This game ran flawlessly. So I, I think this was full 60 FPS. The game runs great, like I said. Uh, there's a balance and then there's also priority for resolution, which is capture 30 FPS and with 4k But for these games, I need 60 FPS and it worked great. Also, there is a slider for motion blur So, you know thumbs up for that one all in all I'm excited for this game and this demo has made it a day one purchase for me I know there's gonna be a lot of memes about the boobas about uh, about how she looks and all that kind of stuff and like the different outfits, but I think with I think there's like 30 different outfits in the game and they all kind of do different things. I love that. I love that how changing your character changes the way like you you're, you're going to be able to play and kind of like bring different things to the forefront for gameplay wise. As you already know, this my channel is very souls like, so I'm very very excited to jump into more games in this genre and this one kind of nails it with the formula, kind of puts their own twist on the formula and I love that. Let me know what you guys think of the Stellar Blade demo. Have you played it yet? Is Are you going to buy this game when it first comes out? Let me know about my thoughts. What, what you guys thought about my thoughts of the demo. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like the content on the channel, hit that sub button. I really, really appreciate it. I hope stream over on twitch.tv slash beard in the hair about three days a week. We do a lot of Soulsborne stuff over there. Come chat about all souls. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.